Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the M16A4 in Battlefield 4. This weapon is a burst fire only weapon, well burst fire and semi-automatic. We no longer have the M16A3 variant. Now the M16A4 was in Battlefield 3 and this one performs very similarly. It's got that same amazing reload speed of 1.8 seconds which makes it one of the fastest reloading primary weapons in the game. And frankly this gun is going to need whatever advantages it can get because having a burst fire weapon does put you at a pretty big disadvantage in my opinion. Now there are some people that really did enjoy some of the burst fire weapons from Battlefield 3. I know there's a lot of uh, big fans of the AN-94 out there and that was kind of a cool gun. You could definitely sh kill somebody in one shot from it if you got headshots because both shots would in theory go in the exact same spot. Now the M16A4 is burst but you will be experiencing recoil both all your uh, shots it's a three round burst and your shots will not be going in the exact same location so you can't pull off that double headshot sequence that you could do with the AN-94. Now something that made burst fire weapons in Battlefield 3 particularly difficult to use is that the first shot recoil multiplier uh, was applied with every single time you bursted the weapon so you would get kind of a kickback and then the weapon would burst fire and it would be harder to hit uh, your target with the follow-up shots. This time in Battlefield for that first shot recoil multiplier is still applied but it's applied to the last shot of the burst so your first two shots are going to be experiencing normal recoil and then the last shot is going to kick back more and this should give you a slightly more accurate grouping and this makes a lot of sense because you don't want the recoil of your weapon to kick back and then the rest of your burst to be completely inaccurate. Now one of the biggest disadvantages with a burst fire weapon is that repeatedly clicking the gun makes it pretty hard to track moving targets. It also can mess with your accuracy a bit. So you have to do things to try and offset a burst fire weapon from the fully automatic versions to give it some sort of advantage and having that first shot recoil applied to the last shot of the burst is a step in the right direction but I don't think DICE has done enough to make the M16A4 an appealing weapon over say a fully automatic Ace 23 or M416. Now if we take a look at the simthick.com stats we have a 800 round per minute rate of fire which definitely puts it as a very competitive assault rifle if you don't factor in the fact that it's a burst fire weapon. Now because it's burst fire you have to actually click at just the right intervals to actually achieve that 800 round per minute rate of fire and to go through a whole mag at that kind of rate of fire is almost impossible just because it requires such precision of repetitive clicking. So really your rate of fire is kind of dependent on your ability to time your bursting. So. Uh, it's kind of up to you. Chances are you're not going to be getting up to 800 rounds per minute though So you have to kind of look at this weapon in a slightly different light now checking out the recoil uh, We've actually gotten an increase for battlefield 4 compared to battlefield 3 So you're gonna have a slightly harder pull to the right and a slightly higher vertical recoil Which again, I don't really approve of because I think burst fire weapons can use whatever advantage we can give them and even though the m16a4 you can see right here is capable of taking people down at range it's you know it's a proficient weapon uh, compared to anything like the ace 23 or m416 it's just gonna lose out fully auto weapons are so much easier to use than burst fire weapons that I really think we got to give these guns as much advantage as we possibly can so the fact that they increase the recoil on the m16 a4 from bf3 doesn't really make a lot of sense to me also if you look to the right of the recoil you'll notice uh, under ADS we have .2. Well this is pretty much on par with what other assault rifles shoot at in Battlefield 4 except that in Battlefield 3 we always had more accurate fire for the burst fire assault rifles to again give them a slight advantage over the other ones out there. Now you might be thinking well hey hang on a second there level cap we have a lot of different weapon accessories we can attach to guns now compared to BF3 we have more options we can improve accuracy we can improve recoil control and handling and this is true in a lot of these clips here I'm messing around with different attachments different things to try and improve the way that this gun performs you'll notice I'm actually using an ACOG here which is pretty uh, unheard of for my playstyle. I'm almost always a red dot sight guy but I realized that with this gun here I was gonna try and uh, engage people at longer ranges and try and be more accurate now you can be fairly accurate with this weapon in burst fire mode and I realized that I was gonna need to have this crazy high level of accuracy with this weapon to be able to win firefights 
since I wasn't going to do it by sheer damage output. Now I tried a whole bunch of different accessory combinations using an angled foregrip and a muzzle brake, angled foregrip and heavy barrel, um, stubby grip and muzzle brake, different things to try and change between controlling the recoil and the accuracy. I actually ended up enjoying the heavy barrel a lot on here. Um, I ended up really preferring the muzzle brake and stubby grip. I thought that ultimately that gave me some of the best recoil control and accuracy combinations there so that it really allowed me to take advantage of higher magnification sights. I also enjoyed using the suppressor a lot and later in the game I decided to go with the red dot sight again and use a flip up scope for that two times magnification. I thought the ACOG was a little bit overkill for this weapon in terms of accuracy and the two times sight provided the perfect amount that I needed. So fundamentally, burst fire weapons are a little bit flawed in Battlefield 4 right now because uh, if you think about it, in real life, a burst fire weapon shoots three, four rounds uh, in one burst. And, you know, when you shoot somebody with a bullet in real life, chances are they're not going to be getting back up from it. A burst from any assault rifle should be more than enough to take somebody down. But in video games, a burst will not do the trick. In fact, shooting three shots out of this will not kill somebody unless you are in extreme close quarters and two of those shots are chest shots and the third shot is a head shot. Now with the actual burst fire accuracy of this weapon, that's gonna be very hard to pull off. And it's also extreme close quarters. So most of your targets, you're gonna need two to three bursts, maybe even four bursts to take them down in quick succession. So you're not really getting the real life benefit of a burst fire weapon in game so we got to change up parameters of how they work out to try and uh, emulate real life but provide video game benefits and unfortunately we're not really seeing those too much in battlefield 4 yet the m16a4 needs a little bit of work to get up there to the point where it's going to be a viable option i think improving its uh, aiming down sight accuracy maybe even bringing the recoil back down a little bit just to try and make it competitive against some of the top performers out there like the ace 23. really it's my belief that you got to try and balance every gun against the best gun in the game so if the ace 23 and the m416 are absolutely dominating damage per second wise um, accuracy wise you got to find a way to bring some of these other competitors up there so that they can play on the same level i love the m16 weapons um, I'm not disappointed that they made the M16 a burst fire only weapon. I just wish that they made burst fire a little bit better in Battlefield 4. So anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for this uh, review of the M16A4. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Let me know what attachments work well for you. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap signing off.